Lombardo, and we're here talking to Wyvern COO Bonnie Pelly about auditing charter operators. Uh, Bonnie, first of all, what is the purpose of an audit? Well, the purpose of an audit is to really go in and evaluate a charter operator top to bottom. Operations, maintenance, um, an audit typically takes two days. Two auditors, um, especially in operations and maintenance, are going to spend two full days with the operations team um, to really you know, look under the hood and uh, figure out whether or not we could recommend this operator to our customers. Now, and that brings up the question, who are your customers? Our, corp uh, our customers tend to be big corporations uh, with flight departments who typically have to use charter to supplement their um, internal departments. So they need a way to use a third party to evaluate charter operators so they can choose their vendors. And how do you choose what charter operators that you audit? Well, typically corporations ask us to audit specific uh, vendors that they use on a recurring basis. Sometimes an operator will approach us to, to self-sponsor an audit because they've heard from their customers that the, that's something their customers are looking for. I would say about 50% of our audits are sponsored and 50% are self-sponsored. And that begs the question, what exactly is it that you audit? What is it we audit? Well, like I said, it's top to bottom. You know, we, we go in, we are interviewing management, we're interviewing pilots, we're interviewing the maintenance staff, we're in the hangars, we're looking in the uh, tool cabinets, we are reviewing manuals, we're reviewing records. Um, we're also, you know, pre-audit, we're looking at all the FAA documentation, their operation specification, are, is the operator doing what they say they're doing um, in, their, in their documentation. Is it an all or nothing thing, or if you audit someone and they don't, meet up to your specifications? Do they have an opportunity to make up for it? I mean, can they prepare for this? Well, yeah, there is some preparation we can do. I mean, we don't like to prep them for the audit. Um, we can send them what we call the Wyvern standard, which is the document which says, this is the standard which you're going to be measured against. I would say, you know, going out the door when two auditors leave the on-site portion, no one really has passed at that point. There are often um, discrepancies that need to be resolved by the operator before they can be recommended, and we do give the operator the chance to resolve those discrep discrepancies and report back. So um, we like to think of it, you know, after the audit, it's a really collaborative process. We're really trying to work with the operator to improve their safety records so that they can be recommended. And oftentimes their discrepancies are resolved and they are recommended, and sometimes they're not. Now, an audit is essentially a snapshot. Correct. So there must be some level of frequency because you could audit them today and things, things could change. change. Right. Yeah, things could change a lot. We typically audit on an 18 to 24 month cycle, 18 for the operators in the U.S., 24 months for operators internationally. But you're right, a lot can change in 18 months. I mean, the director of operations could change three or four times, and that can have a huge impact on an operation. So what Wyvern has really been focusing on over the last couple of years is using technology, live data feeds from the FAA and the NTSB to, to perform ongoing um, monitoring of operations. So we're constantly you know, talking with operators. We talk with the most operators about once per week, updating crew records, updating insurance records, updating aircraft records. And that, that information, that timeliness, has become really important to our customers. They're not just looking for that one report every 18 months. They're looking for ongoing reporting. And finally, what does a service like this cost? If I wanted to use it, what would it cost me? Well, as a, a single passenger, really what you need to do is, is find a, a Wyvern recommended operator. And that you can do on our new website, weflysafe.com. But corporations uh, subscribe to what we call the Wyvern report. And that can cost you, you know, 1000 to 2000 per month, depending on your usage. Um, most of our customers are Wyvern Report customers. They're in there, you know, every day looking for lift. They're that busy. So it's a, it's a really valuable service to them and, and, and I think worth the money. Thank you, Bonnie. With Bonnie Pelly, COO of Wyvern, I'm David Lombardo.